What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at data frames and pandas for machine learning. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at data frames and pandas. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at data frames in pandas, and this is a data frame. So it looks pretty much like an Excel spreadsheet, and you can hover and do things, and you can pull data out and do different things with it. So in this video, we're going to create our own data frames using random numbers. We're also going to import one from an Excel file, a CSV file, and uh, create a data frame with it from you know, external data. So that's what we'll look at in this video. So come up here, I've got a Jupyter Notebook open and I've got a file called data frame. As always, you can find a link to the code in the pin comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this pandas series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've started out here, like we always do, importing pandas as PD and numpy as NP. And we also wanna create some random numbers. So let's go from numpy.random. We want to import R-A-N-D-N, random numbers. So shift enter to run that. Okay, so let's create some data. So I'm gonna call it my underscore data. And this is gonna be a random number. So let's call R-A-N-D-N. And this is a function. And let's say we want four rows with three columns. So let's go, you know, rows, columns. And this will just create some random numbers using NumPy, so we can do that. So we also want headers in our data. We want column headers and row headers. So let's go my underscore rows. And this is just gonna be a basic Python list. And let's just call it row A, row B, row C, and row D. And we're doing four of these because of course we chose four rows of random data. Okay, let's also go my calls, short for my columns, I suppose. And let's put headers for those. I'm just gonna call this Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. I don't know. Okay, so let's shift enter to run that. So we've got our data, we've got our row headers, and then we've got our column headers. Now let's create a data frame. So uh, let's go create data frame. And I'm just going to call this my underscore df, short for my data frame. And this is going to be a pd.data frame. And this is a function. Now we can hit shift enter, and we get a little helper here. So if we expand this, we can see exactly what pandas is looking for here. So first it wants data. So we want to pass in our data, then it wants the index. These are basically the row headers. And then it wants the columns, basically the column headers, right? And then there's some other stuff we don't really care about right now. So let's just go ahead and give it what it wants. Now you can put data equals and then your data, and we could put index colon equals whatever, or you could just put the thing. So we're just going to put the thing. We're going to start out with our data. And then it wants the rows or the index. So we can just pop that in there. And finally, it wants the columns. So we can pop that in there. And there we go. So to run this, we could just call my underscore DF, shift enter and boom, there we go. So we see Monday, Tuesday, Friday, that's our column headers. We've got ABCD, that's our row headers. And then we got a bunch of random data that we've created. And that's all there is to it. Very, very cool and very easy to do and looks pretty good. It's easy to visualize data this way. And that's, you know, the main reason why you want to do this. Now we could take columns of things out of here, we could take rows of things out of here, and we'll start to look at that in a little bit. Um, but just for now, I just want to show you how you can create one manually. So okay, that's cool. Creating them manually is nice. But more often than not, you're gonna have a data set, you're gonna have some, you know, a CSV file or something that you're going to want to import and turn it into a data frame. So how do we do that? So let's import CSV file. So let's create another one of these guys. Let's call this my underscore DF two. Now before we were very specific, we created a data frame with PD dot data frame. That's because we were creating it ourselves. If you've already got data somewhere else, you don't have to do that. There's a function that will import it from the CSV file and turn it into a data frame itself. And it is called PD dot read underscore CSV. Now this is obviously a CSV file. Now I've got a CSV file sitting in the same directory where this Jupyter notebook is sitting. So I can use a relative path. So I could just call dog underscore data dot CSV. And that's what the name of the file is. And that's all there is to it. If we want to view this, we can my underscore DF two shift enter to run this and boom, here we have our data frame. Very cool. And this is just some random dog data I had from some other project I was working on. It had 
dog breeds, colors, and names in their owner's zip code. So you can see Pandas has already figured out, hey, these are the headers because that's what the headers are in the CSV file. And you'll notice the row numbers are just numbered indexes. And that's nice because then we can use those numbers to pull data out if we want to. So how could we pull data out? Well, let's uh, look at pulling pull out rows. So let's say we want to just pull out this first row, this cockapoo brown named Charlie, right? How do we do that? Well, super easy. We just call my underscore df two dot loc. Loc stands for location, basically, and we want the zeroth row, right? Boom, we pull that up, and we get this nice little thing here that says cockapoo brown Charlie in the zip code. Very cool. If we want multiple rows, we could do the same thing. Pull out multiple rows instead of just one index number, we can create another list inside of here and we can say the zeroth and the fifth one. If we run this, now we get this new data frame that has the zeroth row and the fifth row, Scottish Terrier named Bailey. We can confirm that by looking up here, Scottish Terrier named Bailey. Very cool. If you want more than two, you could do that too. Maybe we want the eighth row. Boom, now we get three. Very cool, very easy. Now we're going to look at pulling out whole columns and doing things with them probably in the next video. But for now, I think we got a pretty good start on this. We can create our own data frames. We could pull in data from Excel files, CSV files, and turn them into data frames. We can pull out specific rows, and we're moving right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codingme.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com. I'll see you in the next video.